sure. Welcome to another Sunday video. New location, new place. Um, this week was an exciting week. Week. I met um, a guy called Harry Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary Vaynerchuk. Oh, Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk. We actually just recorded a video of the story how we met. That's gonna come out next week because today is Sunday. So next week there's gonna be the story about how I met this Gary, uh, Gary guy. Um, that's gonna be exciting. And yeah, in this week's video I wanted to talk about something that I realized yesterday when I was talking with my friend and it's about ha doing, making the right choice. And I feel too many people care about whether they make the right choice or the wrong choice. And it's actually not about making the right choice or the wrong choice, it's about actually making a choice. Because for me, like when I came to New York and, and just randomly booked a flight and a week later I was still here and three months later I was still here, it's not about whether I made the right choice or I didn't or made the wrong choice, but it's about actually just making a choice. Because what, what I realize, most people don't even make choices. They are in between this weird phase where they haven't made a choice. That's the reason, and I realized that yesterday, that's the reason why I get messages like, Finn, I would love to come to New York, but... and Or, at some day, I wish I would come to New York, or I could come to New York, but... That just means you haven't made a decision because if you actually m would have made the decision to not come to New York, then you would be fine with that decision. Then you wouldn't say something like that. You would say something like that, like, yeah, of course I don't want to be in New York. I don't want to be in New York. I decided I want to live in, in my small hometown. I made that decision. That's my decision. And I'm going to go for it. I'm going to live with that. But that's not most people's, what most people say. So, it means they haven't actually made the decision and because it's not important whether it's the right choice or the wrong choice and because just about making the choice because in my case, like, if going to New York was the wrong choice, well then after a week I go back to Germany, to my hometown, back to my parents' house and then I spend maybe, I don't know, 800 bucks on like a week trip to New York, which is some money, but it's not the word, and also you get a week trip New York out of that. So it's not really about whether it's the right choice or, or the wrong choice, because if it's the wrong choice, you can so easily correct it. If for me dropping out of college was the wrong choice, well then after two months I go to college again, and enroll in a different course, or go to a different college. Like, making the wrong choice does not have that many repercussions, have you, as you might think it does. So if there is something that you want to do or you feel like you, you, you dream about, well, then actually just go for it because whether or not it's the right choice, you only know afterwards. So for that, you actually have to do it first. And if it's the wrong choice, it doesn't matter anyway. You can correct it. So to really, to really make the most... Um, to have the best results, I guess, is to make as many choices as possible, not caring whether it's the right choice or not, going all in as soon as you realize it's the right choice, and course correcting as fast as possible as soon as you realize it's the wrong choice, right? Like, if I realize New York is not the right place, then not trying to make it work for, like, five months, but actually, like, coming back after a week. And when I realize, oh, coming to New York is the right choice, than actually saying like, all right, let's not take that flight back after a week and just stay here for however much, much I can stay. So realize that most of the time, if you're in between this phase of I wish I could, I would, but I can for this reason, most of the time it's not that you're scared about making the wrong choice, but you're scared about making a choice. Because, okay, now I'm just repeating myself, but you know, just make the choice course correct the wrong choices, go all in on the right choices, but don't care too much whether it's the right or wrong choice, just make the choice. Too many people don't make choices at all. And that's Sunday's video, um, next week, um, Harry video, and then we're gonna see Gary. Ga Gary video. See you guys next week with the Gary video. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot
but why now? Holy shit, I just wanna make a trip to the China, Hawaiian Greece, that's the 